Hi, this is Cass from Aussie Cass Plays, and welcome to part two of my Realm of Magic Let's Play. So Isaac went to school today for the first time since the move, but he's feeling really, really unwell. So he's come home early. His school performance is frankly pretty rubbish, but I'm not going to leave him at school if the guy's got a fever. I mean, that's just not okay. In the meantime, his grandmother's at home. She's just made some delicious food. So I'm going to have him just get a snack of some kind. Where are we? Have a quick meal. Uh, maybe just a ham and cheese sandwich. It's whatever he took to school. In the meantime, his grandmother's going to check on him. And be like, why are you home so early? Can I ask how he's feeling? Maybe brighten his day. It's all right. You know, you'll be fine. And then I'm going to have her come up here and order some medicine. I feel like all of my sims are actually getting sick. They've all been showing signs of getting sick. So the fact that Isaac is now sick is honestly not a surprise. You're okay. Grandson, you're fine. He, yeah, he was at school for like three hours. Probably not even. I think he was late. So, yeah. Uh, he's going to take the medicine. Because he's feeling really gross. And he slipped in a mud puddle just to make it even better. Uh, let's breed the frogs. I don't even remember him getting these frogs. What? Why is it showing? Is that her? I'm really confused. That's showing her inventory. Well, he doesn't have a raven familiar. Yeah, move that across. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I feel like the inventory is all mixed up. Uh, I'm going to pop that in there, that in there. An enormous trilobite. Interesting. Because she, see, he doesn't have a wand. What has happened to his inventory? And she's got a, two brooms now. I don't know where the hat. What? What? I have questions. All right. All right. So he's feeling a bit better. In theory, he could go back to school now. Except he ain't gonna because he's home. How do I get rid of this muddy thing? Mud gets everywhere. All right, I might have him just come and have a quick shower. And I guess he'll do his homework. I guess the teacher probably sent him home with homework. I mean, that makes sense. And then I will have him skive off. Is that the phrase? Yeah, I want to have him kind of wander around, get to know the neighborhood a bit better. Because honestly, the sharing a... Like, like I said to you last part, his sister is probably, you know, saying, well, he, you know, he smells. She is probably complaining about him, but by the same token, she listens to S-pop and she's really loud and she doesn't let him get a moment's peace. And he just, you know, wants to be on his own and like try and get his head together. So I thought I'd have him maybe go explore a bit. Like there's a, a community lot, the bar might have him wander past there and just, you know, just check the place out a bit. All right, Alana's home. Looks like she's also fallen over in a mud puddle. And she has brought somebody home with her, Luna Villarreal. She's finding all of the, like, sims in clubs, isn't she? So I'm going to have her get some food. No, we're getting food. Uh, let's brighten Luna's day. And then we're going to get some leftovers from the fridge. Yeah. Um, you see what I mean about Alana being like the popular girl, you know, she's the one that was, why are you angry? She was the one that was in all of the clubs at her old school and like popular, the Paragons might be good fit for her actually. Um, I'm going to complain about our parents, complain about our problems. Luna's not interested in this at all. She's like, don't talk to me about your problems. I don't even know you. This is going really well. I'm guessing we can probably rule out the paragons the way this conversation is going. Seriously, Luna's mean. I'm going to gossip with her. I'm going to attempt to gossip with her. Apparently we don't want to gossip with her. Try and calm her down, maybe. I mean, I don't super see it going well, but I guess you never know. Miss Stevie? Helga. Hello. Bar. 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 
Okay, she's happy. We'll do an impression. Whine about our life because why the heck not? While Colleen's warming her hands. Oh no, now Colleen's sick. See, I told you all my sims were getting sick. Didn't I tell you? All right, we'll come up here and buy some more medicine. I don't know why I said that like that. Buy some more medicine. Oh uh, yeah. Take medicine. Alana's working on her comedy skill. I mean, these two are starting to get on now. They got off on the wrong foot, but yeah. Tell an urban legend. Right in her day. Joey wants her to come over. Not right now, Joey, actually, because we're in the middle of making a new friend, but we will 100% text them later. Like Joey! My mana brought some. Uh, talk about the rain, how it gets everywhere. Miranda's home. I'm going to queue up some actions, actually, that I'm going to take Isaac out. So uh, maybe flatter her, and that's as many actions as I can do. So he's going to be like, yep, I'm going to go out for a walk in the rain, because that is what a non-emo, but currently a bit emo kind of teen might do right, I'm gonna actually have him walk because you know <laughs> what am I arguing about now oh is she just being a bit actually no you don't have a crush yet you haven't been here long enough view her clubs oh Alana has a good reputation already I really should have her work on this project at some point too she's not a super nerdy kid but yeah uh, it takes work to look this good. Perfection isn't easy, but everyone needs someone to look up to. This is why we have paragons. <laughs> Come hang with us, and if you impress us, you can apply. Should I do it? I mean, this is a bit off track on what I was going to do. I was going to have Isaac sniff around the edges of the whole magic thing, but, you know... Maybe, maybe we can do that later. So we're just going to have a little visit with the Paragons first and see if we can. I actually don't know what these guys do. I love how you guys are all in your swimmers when it's uh, really cold. <laughs> Good work. You're all going to die. I'm just saying. So I'm going to introduce myself to everyone. I'm going to make a good impression. Who's this person? No one. Luna and her are kind of friends. Hi, Sophia. How are you? I'm going to give her props because she does look pretty good. We're going to show off our outfit, talk about the Paragons. And this oh, is Sergio Romeo. Uh, friendly so introduction cool. to him. That's not a Paragon. That's a garden gnome. We aren't garden gnomes. I mean, look at us. Do we look like a garden gnome? No, we look like a Paragon. Yeah, yeah actually, let's not apply to her. Let's apply to Luna. Because I feel like Luna likes us better. Oh, hang on. Is she the leader? Do I have to apply to the leader? I don't even know who the leader is. Maybe I'll just ask this person. Apply to Paragons. There we go. I feel like Alana's the kind of sim who would want to be in all the clubs, frankly. Yeah. Can I join? She laughed at us. Oh, they accepted her anyway. That's cute. Uh, okay, so what do we do in the Paragons? Try on outfits, be mean to renegades, and drink coffee. I mean, okay. Oh, hang on, there's coffee up here. Uh, make a drink. Let's make a uh, mocha. I feel like she's a mocha girl. Mm, this makes me want a coffee. Like now. Woohoo, coffee! Getting points for drinking coffee. Awesome. I am going to send her home after this, though, because we're not going to. Oh, who's the leader? This person. Siobhan Fires. Awesome. Shall we go and brighten her day? And then I'm going to actually have, the, have her go home. So we'll head back to the house and then I promise I'm taking Isaac for a walk. <laughs> it's going to happen, you guys. I believe in me. Um, Sure, you could bring all those people over, whatever. 
that's fine. I don't care. I feel like your mum might care. And your grandma might care. But you don't care. You don't care, Alana. You do you, sweetie. She's like, sure, you can come back to my boring hovel leather house. Maybe I shouldn't have had her do that. Maybe she'd be embarrassed. Anyway, they're on their own now. They can do whatever they want because I am taking poor Isaac to the bar. Wherever that is. Is this the bar? That's the bar. He's just going out. He's like, nah, my sister came home. She brought all of these girls with her and possibly a boy. I didn't really look. Not interested. Given they share a basement bedroom. Oh, it's alien night. That's bit weird but okay so this is one of the ones that I downloaded I think I mentioned to you guys last time that I all of the lots I've got in my Glimmerbrook save file for this let's play are actually downloads so we've got one of these freaky from his point of view freaky fireplaces over here we'll put that on we've got some awesome look at this cute little music device we've got some people at the bar and wander and El Faba, who does not have a first name, because yeah. it's obviously L, like Elphaba. Come on, come talk to L. She's talking about getting engaged in cars. It's like, hi, crazy lady with pink hair, and like, awful, awful eye makeup. I really need to do something about her. I need, she needs a makeover, I think. And Carmen Carson, who is a young adult. Everyone here is, like, not a teen. I mean, it's a bar, so yeah, fair enough. Uh, Minerva Charm. That's funny, because Minerva's one of the neighbours, and I seem to recall from the family bio that she's, like, the matriarch of a snobby family. So it's a bit weird, but anyway. So I might have him order a drink. Because, you know, he's been, he's 17, okay, he's not legal drinking age yet, but they're probably not going to cart him. I mean, he kind of looks like an adult, right? No? Right? <laughs> yeah, and we're going to have a talk to Elf over here. Uh, let's tell her an unbelievable story. I'm not going to complain about my parents. I feel like he wouldn't do that with her. Maybe it's the sort of thing you do to teens, right? You don't really do that with adults. We're going to discuss her interests. Maybe rave about our favourite singers. What kind of drink did he get? Is that it? A salty llama. Seriously, drink your drink, dude. Is that your salty llama? You're going to lose it. I told you. Didn't I tell you? I'm sure I told you. Maybe we could do a friendly introduction to him as well. He's just out here, like, wishing he wasn't a teenager and wishing he could just do what he wants to do, not hang out with, like, other teenagers at school because they're all stupid. You know, they care about stupid things. He doesn't care about stupid things. Of course, he doesn't know what he wants to do with his life or anything. I mean, let's not go crazy here. But, yeah, he needs to go to the toilet. So I'm going to have him... Go to the toilet. I don't even know where the toilet is on this lot. Oh my god, look at all the people out here. So he can go to the toilet and then I'll have him wash his hands, brush his teeth and wash his hands again because his hygiene is apparently super low. I also love how he's drinking on the toilet. I mean, okay, dude. <laughs> Whatever. So... Well, what have we got here? Is there anything interesting to read? Oh, it's all the magic books. That's so cute. I'm going to have to get him to go home soon, but I might get some food, maybe pretzel, just before we head home. That's my pretzel. Don't anybody steal my pretzel. Hey, can I sit here? Sure, I'm leaving. Oh, rude. Rude. Okay. I love how this place has got all of these little familiar orbs. It's like objects. If you were in here with a klepto, oh my god, why is Nancy Landgrab here? That is so weird. Yeah, I just think it's funny that 
there's all these little orbs here. Like if you were a klepto in here, you could go nuts with the stealing familiars thing. Or maybe actually you don't need to be a klepto. Maybe you could just be a wizard and come in here. Maybe I'll come in here and delete all those, actually. It feels a bit unrealistic to me that they'd just be sitting out because they're expensive. So, yeah. But anyway, so we've come in. We've, like, met L. Elphaba. Get it? Get it? Okay. I'm going to have him head home. So, because he is a sleepy boy. And it's after midnight. So he's going to get in trouble with his mum for sure. You want to sleep? Yeah, I know. You're going to go home, buddy. Take your pretzel with you. It's fine. He's like, yeah, I'm going. I'm going. I had enough. It's fine. The style of Glimmerbrook. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm sorry. It's so muddy. I'm going to get a screedy. When life gives you lemons, fall over in the mud, I guess, and be sad. Poor guy. Oh. <laughs> Oh, Isaac. I'm sorry, dude. Go home. Miranda is going to be really upset with him for staying out so late and for going to the pub and having a salty llama, even though he's probably like the reason he brushed his teeth at the bar was so that she wouldn't smell the alcohol in his breath. He's like, no, mom's going to be so mad. But yeah, he's going to try and sneak in. Let's see if he can get away with it. Sneak himself off to bed. He's going to come in here. I don't even know where Miranda and Colleen are. Colleen's actually in the lounge room. She's up on her computer. So if he would stop falling over in mud piles, he might be okay because Colleen can't see him coming in. So I'm going to have him take a bath because I think he can get away with it and then go to bed. Good work, buddy. Sneaking out and your parents not even noticing. Or your grandma and your mum. <laughs> So she's going to finish her food. Obviously, the rest of the Paragons have left. Uh, so she needs to buy a club perk. Can I even do that when I'm not the leader of the club? Handshakes are so lame. I don't think she'd want a handshake. I think she'd want something other than a handshake or a homework boost. Angry club vibe, confident club vibe. Definitely going to go confident club vibe because that's definitely a thing that I think the Paragons would have. Uh, Miranda is completely oblivious. She needs to do some programming. So let's do that. Make a mobile app, I guess. And Colleen is going to go to the toilet. And Actually, she can't have a shower right now. She probably can't even go to the toilet right now. I think the kids are both in the bathrooms. Well, I'm going to say sell all because that's what she, like, ima I'm imagining this is her selling the produce to other wizards, but it's just taking out the kind of shop aspect of it, I guess. Uh, all right. She's in the shower still. He's gone to bed. Feeling a little bit better, maybe knowing that he kind of got out in the house and got out of the house and away from his sister and away from his family that he's kind of, it's not that he's upset that he doesn't live with his dad anymore because he didn't really like his dad either. None of the kids did, but he's upset that they don't live in San Mai Shino. He doesn't understand why his mum's dragged him all the way out here. He's less upset about it than Alana though. Alana's really upset about it because she, everything was in San Mai Shino for her. Like, everything. So the fact that she's managed to join the Paragons in Glimmerbrook, well, from Glimmerbrook, even not in Glimmerbrook, the fact she's managed to join the Paragons here actually is reassuring for her because it's like, well, maybe I'm not completely cut off from the rest of the world. This is great. All right, she's going to do this, and then she's actually going to go down and get into her workshop because Alana's busy at the moment and Isaac's asleep. So she's going to sneak down and I'm going to have her, hmm, I can't talk turquoise and valerian root. I do have apples. Oh, I shouldn't have been selling stuff. I should have been harvesting the magic stuff, magic plant things. Uh, well, why don't we just experiment then, I guess? 
Yeah, just because I kind of want her to work a bit more, like I said last part, now that she's got the teens living there and there's a chance that one of them or both of them could manifest the magic bloodline. Hmm. Plus now she's got more people to look after in the house. She wants to basically supplement the kind of household income, maybe sell some potions to other wizards. Like, yeah, this is all stuff she's very interested in getting onto now. So when Colleen went into her lab, she actually, like the door when it closed, woke Isaac up. So he's noticed that his grandmother's in there and he's kind of hungry as well. And he can smell stuff coming under the door. He's like, what is she doing in there? So I can't actually do anything to like, I would have him knock on the door. In fact, she, he probably will knock on the door and be like, grandma, are you okay in there? And she's like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm, f- I'm fine, Isaac. Go back to sleep, sweetie. And he's like, uh-huh. And because she's clearly hiding something, right? So He's going to be like, hmm, okay. So he's going to come up and get some leftovers. Then he's actually going to come back down here and just sit on his bed and wait. He's going to wait for her to come out and be like, what are you doing in there? (laughs) So that's the plan because he's like, she's clearly up to something. So if I just sit here and eat, maybe she'll be out soon. What is my grandmother hiding? Frankly, this is the question. Right, so Colleen has gotten herself her lottery ticket because, you know, as you do, I'm going to have her summon her familiar just in here because she thinks that Isaac's actually gone back to sleep. She doesn't realise he's awake. So he's sitting here waiting for her and he's like, Grandma, Grandma, look out, there's a bird behind you. So he comes up and he's going to, let's see, what's a good interaction for trying to shoo a bird away? We're going to confess our fear of vampires. I mean, that's a bit like a vampire, right? Don't wash the dishes. You're ruining my story by washing dishes. Come back down here right now. Oh, my God. School starts in an hour. (laughs) Neither of them have been to bed. Did she sleep on that? Oh, she must have got energy back while he was at the bar. Okay. So he's like, Grandma, Grandma, look out. There's a bird flying around. She's like, it's okay. I know. That's my pet bird. Her name is Ebony. It's like, what do you mean, pet bird? Why do you have a pet crow? That is weird, Grandma. What are you talking about? So he's going to... I'm just going to queue up some socials. So he's. I'm going to have him ask about her day. Discuss the logic puzzle that is why she has a pet glowing crow with sinister glowing eyes we're gonna have a deep conversation i think that's the way to go so this is them talking about the whole crow thing and colleen will tell him look your mother probably wouldn't want me to tell you this but the crow is something that i have access to i guess just through like a family kind of She's beating around the bush, basically. Sure, like a family yeah, yeah. ability, oh. and so, what, an ability <laughs> to tame birds. Oh, she's trying to kind of explain musical. to him because she wants to respect Cray Miranda's bow. wishes musical. about the Cray whole bow. spellcaster thing, you know, not, not involving the kids in the spellcasting. But she also doesn't, like, she thinks it's wrong to hide from the kids. So they're going to continue to talk. <laughs> She's going to discuss his interests, find out if she thinks he could be a spellcaster, maybe. I don't know why she's doing that. <laughs> Your dad was a blurby blur, a blur, a blur, a blur. Uh, so then she's going to have a deep conversation with him where she's like, well, okay, look, Isaac, I'm going to tell you the truth. Your mother's not going to like it, but I'm going to do it. I'm a spellcaster. He's like, yeah, right, like an alien or a vampire or something. No, I'm a spellcaster. We're way better than aliens and vampires. We have magic. So he obviously is not going to believe this. So she's like, back in my day, spellcasters used to go to school. And he's going to be like, no, don't go to high school, buddy. You're skipping school today. He's going to be like, "Uh, yeah, okay, Grandma, you're a spellcaster and I'm really an actress, actor from like 
You know, I'm like a big screen <laughs> actor. That's my career. And she's not going to tend the garden. We're not done. Come back here. She's going to scribe a new idea. And then I'm actually going to have her use one of her spells. So she's going to prove to him that she has magic by casting Delicio. So this will be good for me as well, because I also have not seen Delicio. I know the other one is pizza. What is this one? He's like, whoa, grandma whipped out a wand and magicked up. What did she magic up? A hamburger. Oh my God. It's awesome. It's like amazing. It's a hamburger. (laughs) She whipped up a hamburger, you guys. So she's going to like eat the hamburger. She's not super hungry, but this is proving it's like real. She's like, hmm, so delicious. Delicious, delicious hamburger. And he'll be like, whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Hold the phone grandma i'm gonna get to know you do i even know you grandma like what is going on he's going to ask to see her wizard outfit (laughs) does she have a wizard outfit i don't think she does that's fine she's gonna uh, he's gonna ask to see her wizard outfit if you're a wizard where's your wizard outfit uh yes he's not going to school today why are you calling Alana, isn't she? Oh no, she's not at school yet either. She's still doing her homework. Yeah, he's not going to school. It's just happened. There's your wizard outfit. That's not a wizard outfit, Grandma. What are you talking about? Express admiration for her because she wizarded up a hamburger. She's, he's like, what else can you magic up, Grandma? She's like, I can magic up pizza. You know that pizza that I ate? I magic that up. She's like, no way. You magic up pizza? That's crazy. Yeah. it's happening is what i'm telling you so he now believes that maybe she could be a, wi- a spellcaster i mean there's a hamburger here to prove it so he should ask for a bite can i have a bite of your hamburger grandma so i'm gonna have her put that down and then he's gonna eat it eat the rest he's not hungry he doesn't need it but that's sort of not why i'm doing this so he's gonna eat the hamburger the magical hamburger created by his grandma with her magic he's also super super tired so he's not going to go to school all right uh i'm gonna have him go to the toilet and then he's gonna lie down and like ponder what everything his grandmother just told him because he's like i just can't believe it she's in the meantime thinking oh my god my daughter's gonna kill me um but maybe that's why she came up to the computer she's like i'm gonna send miranda an email at work and let her know what just happened and she's just gonna have to suck it up honestly because her kid her at least one of her children is interested because Isaac would be like you mean I could like create hamburgers with a wand I mean obviously that's the thing I want to do because as far as spells go who wouldn't want to create a hamburger with a wand so his grandmother will give him like I'm thinking that she'll I'm going to have her, can I have her, like, she's messaging her daughter on Facebook. (laughs) Check social media timeline. Um, Like, using Messenger. So I might actually have her take Isaac to the Realm of Magic. I'd like to do that in this part, I think. But I feel like this part's been super long. Yeah, actually, I'm going to leave this part here, I reckon, because going to the Realm of Magic is obviously going to be super time-consuming. And this part's already been long already. So I'm actually going to end this part here. So Isaac has learned his grandmother can summon food with a wand and has a cool crow that flies around with her sometimes named Ebony. And frankly, that is everything a slightly emo, badass 17-year-old could ever want. So... (laughs) I'm going to just read this message that just popped up and then end this part here. So Alana's in the bathroom. Should she take the money left on the sink for safekeeping or turn it into the principal? She's going to save it. The lost money gets reported and the principal orders a full locker sweep. Anna get, Alana gets caught with the money and sent to detention. Seriously, but how would they know it was her money? Like, that could have been her very own 20 simoleons that she just happened to already own. I mean... That's dodgy, right? She's going to be so mad about that. It's like, that is, I've been framed. Anyway, 
I'm going to end this part here, like I said. I'll catch you guys in the next part. If you've enjoyed, like, and subscribe, you know the drill. Bye.